So, there are three things that tick me off. That piss me off about if people were to do it. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This is something that randomly came to my mind as I was looking through my journal as of late. I don't write in it very much, because, especially nowadays since I have this channel. But... When I did used to write in it, there was one event that happened that I... Still haven't forgotten about. I just crossed it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about the flaws in the individual in this particular topic. Now, I don't have the book with me, but I do have the memory down to the dot. And so the first, it was the first time of quite a few times that this has happened to me. But before I get into it, the three things that piss me off first people who are hypocritical. People who falsely accuse, and people who use medical circumstances to attack another person. Yeah. I've crossed many people who have done at least one or two of these. Maybe four, and there have been maybe four times instances. One extremely recent, actually, where all three have been used against me. The people who have done all three of these, I find every possible way to block them out, get them as far away as far away from the people I care about as possible, and that includes me. And I think at the time of the one I'm, the example I'm going to give off. The woman who ended eventually ended up being my girlfriend at the time. This was years ago, though. So the individual I'm referring to was actually this woman's current... Or it, it, well, it, at the moment, it was who was her boyfriend, who is actually now not with us anymore. Both of them aren't, actually. So the girl was struggling, struggling to get through, actually I'll go ahead and give off the name, Tristan. Tristan was the name of this woman. She was struggling to get away from this guy because he was apparently abusive to her, frequently. Now this is a story that I've actually explained about, I, I've experienced with a couple different people. But this one is the one I'm going to give an example off of. I have a couple reasons, plus it's probably the one that, it is the one that I have written in the journal. So anyway, um, the dude, at a point, Tristan went off to take care of a couple things in a car, and the, it was just the dude, Ed, and me. Ed is pretty gullible. Let's keep that. But he did have a spike for a, moment, a bit where he kind of suspected something off of me. And I'm good at hiding things when I can, when I need to. I e very easily hit the fact that uh, Tristan and I were hanging out and pretty much treating each other like a couple already, even though she was still with him. It wasn't an official couple or anything. It wasn't to a cheating degree, but... Definitely cared about each other enough to might as well have considered it that way. But as I've said prior to this video, I have never, I would never do something like that. Ever. That's completely 100% against the morals that I have. Either way around though, Ed started, started to suspect things and started accusing me of things. Things that weren't exactly true that I was manipulating Tristan, for example. I never did that. I'm not, I'm not a manipulative person. I mean, not unless it's absolutely necessary, which is stupid rare. Either way around, though. That was one thing he did. But here's the thing. 
that one accusation, it was a false accusation, but it was also him being a hypocrite because he actually was being manipulative at that point in time towards Tristan before she went off. He was being manipulative towards her. The third thing was the medical thing, and this guy had the balls to s just start pinpointing certain anxiety aspects of me that I had explained prior to this to both him and Tristan separately, but still. It was to help them get through a certain point in time. This is the first time I actually met the guy when I did that, do that. And he used that anxiety that I go through against me as some kind of weapon against me. And I'm like, that was it. I literally punched the guy after that. Didn't cause a bloody nose or anything, but sometimes I wish it did. That's how mad I was. I think that's a good example, kind of a good prime example of kind of what I'm talking about when I say these kind of things piss me off. And who boy, they piss me off to a degree that let's just say you don't see me that angry very often. Even when it's not that kind of stuff, you still don't see me that angry very often. Included or not, it that is a fact. And well it is what it is. You won't find me angry very often unless you do all three of those. Because if you do one of them, it annoys me. Do two of them, okay, you're starting to get on my nerves. But if you do all three, don't be near me. Either way around, though, I'm going to leave this video here. I kind of wanted to talk about this, put it on permanent record for myself. Uh, just in case I wanted to look back at this point in time in the future at some point. What did you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any other uh, About Me videos like this one, um, click the link on this side or Discussion Rants over here. I don't know if that's the exact spots they're going to be in, but somewhere around there. If you do like this life kind of stuff or you like comedic gaming or gaming reaction type videos, I guess, uh, click either the icon that's going to be here or the uh, consider checking out the channel wherever it might be here or if you're watching this and you see recommendations from the channel uh, click the videos that are here if you're watching it on a TV or a tablet I believe does this too at least the TVs do it um, if you're checking this out on a phone uh, check out the recommendations down below or on a computer to the side over here if you do see them. However, do please check out the channel if you do like this kind of stuff. One way or the other though, I'm gonna head off. Thanks once again for watching this video guys, and I hope to catch you guys in another one. Bye for now.